What's cracking, everybody? It's your boy, JP Givener. We got the new microphone back on. We got the boom arm. I'm actually recording live commentary here, so we're vibing hard. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know regarding the ending sequence on Mario Kart Stadium. This includes the shroomless glider cut, just going around the ending shortcut in general, taking the glider cut with a mushroom, staying on land, and taking the ending shortcut. Um, what you want to do in a lap 3 situation, if you have multiple shrooms, as well as the motion glider. So we're going to be going through all of that today. So without further ado, let's start giving her bud. We're going to start off strong with the shroomless glider cut. And this is definitely the most important variation of the ending sequence to know of. And we're going to get going right now. So hit the wall on the glider pad. Hold back a little to the right. Straight. And now holding a little to the left. Hold back. And you should get that extra pocket of air. And that will be really good, especially if you're in a tight pack. And you just don't really want to land. And if you get hit, then you'll barely lose any time for that. As opposed to landing early. Potentially having a bad line. And the ability to get hit and lose even more time. Now... There is a very important thing to mention regarding the shroomless glider. And it's what I mentioned when I was demonstrating it. You have to hit the wall when you are on the glider pad. And I'm going to show you what happens when you don't. I haven't really gone over this in a video. Um, at least as far as I know where you actually fail it. But this is what happens if you fail it. Yeah, you completely miss your UMT. And you get like the slowest glider in the game. Or something like that. But yeah, it's not the greatest uh, way to go. So if you aren't confident in your ability to make the shortcut, maybe you screwed up your alignment um, as you started holding wide on the downhill. Then if I were you, I would just go around just to be safe. I'm going to showcase the shortcut one more time. But this is going to be how people generally take it. So hold wide here. Uh, hit the wall on the glider pad. Hold more to the right. That's what pe most people do. And then take a more tighter line by holding more to the left here and then getting a drift right after. You do land earlier, but I think it's a bit faster. I could be wrong on that, but it might be a bit faster to take that a bit tighter. Again, could be wrong, but I do think holding back more so than holding either left or right, depending on which direction you need to go in, that's generally the safer option. All right, so first things first, we're going to go over the easiest of the variations that I'm going to be talking about, and that's going to be playing it safe, going around the ending shortcuts, and you'll be vibing. There's a pretty solid method to this. There is definitely a fast method to this that I'm going to demonstrate right now. So uh, without further ado, let's start giving her, bud. Alright, so release UMT, get an empty, trick off the glider, aim for some coins because you do have the ability to get them, slide, get a SMT around this corner, a quick MT before going over the finish line, and there you go. That is the approach you want to take if you aren't confident in your ability to take any variation of the glider cuts. So next up, we're going to talk about using one shroom here, and that's going to be the one shroom glider cut. So... Release the UMT, but let the game or the glider release it for you. Hold right. Shroom as you're changing direction, then hold left. And you should be vibing. Get that extra pocket of air for safety. And you're giving her full throttle. There you go. Sorry, my commentary might be a little off, but I want to do more of these live commentary, like in the moment kind of things, as well as casting. I tweeted about this the other day. So I want to try to get better at talking fast, like in a fast paced situation kind of thing. But anyways, next up is going to just be shrooming uh, into the shortcut. Not on the glider, though. So let's talk about that. Or let's go over it. So aim for this little thing. Hit the wall. Boom. Um. Okay, so even though I hit that whatever the hell that is, I can't think of the nail off the top of my head. That will not be a threat to you online. <laughs> Alright, I rambled for too long. And I just started talking a bunch of nonsense. So we're going to move on to the big shots here. And those are going to be the lap 3 situation, the normal glider strat, as well as the motion glider. So let's get into that. Alright, so don't mind the lap count here. We're going to be approaching this like it's lap 3. I would not suggest doing this variation of the ending sequence on laps 1 or 2. There's definitely a better way to approach this given your situation in the race. But UMT, no MT off the glider. Hold back immediately. Shroom after the boost. Shroom after that boost. And then shroom one more time. Get the X-Pocket of the Air, and boom. You're basically done the race there. So yeah, that is a very fast way 
to end the race. However, there is a much faster way to end the race, which we're going to go over right now. It's something I don't really use that often online just yet. Keywords there, just yet. I definitely want to invest some time into learning this strategy. So without further ado, let's start giving it, bud. Okay, here we go. Our last variation of the ending sequence is going to be the motion glider. So if you are a newbie to the game, or you aren't familiar with the motion glider, which I'd be surprised if you were not because it is extremely popular nowadays. Basically, you're, we're going to be turning left with both motion controls and our stick. So what we're going to do, watch carefully because it's going to be really fast paced online. So we go off here, we pause. What happens when we pause? There's going to be a fast sequence, okay? So we pause, that's plus. Y, then plus again. I'm going to demonstrate this one more time after I'm done in a fast paced situation so you guys can further see like how fast you should do this. But anyways, we're in motion controls now, plus again, hold back, okay, shroom, shroom, and then both left, and then there you go. A pretty poor way of demonstrating, but that is generally how you want to do it. And then of course you can uh, just refresh after the race is done to the regular control settings um, because you'll be doing this on lap three. You don't want to do this on lap on laps one or two. There's Again, there's definitely a better way to approach the ending sequence given your situation, but we're going to go through this one more time and I'm going to demonstrate this in real time and you're going to see how fast you can do it. Again, not the best comparison because you don't stop racing when you pause online. You stop racing when you pause in time trial. So plus y plus remember that plus y plus okay and then boom 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 and then you're good nice anyways guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did i'd really appreciate it if you'd like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and let me know if you guys would like more of these you know live commentary no script no prep videos because i mean truthfully I came up with this video idea like less than an hour ago, straight up. <laughs> I've kind of been scrambling for videos, video ideas as of recently. However, we're going to keep on giving her and we're going to put some stuff in. Don't worry. Uh, we're still going to keep on giving her until August 27th, which is my last upload date for the YouTube grind. And then we're going to see what happens from there on. Anyways, guys, until next time with the new microphone. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day and keep on giving her, bud.